Welcome to the CXC Art and Design video tutorial for 3D printing. Here you will learn the necessary steps to produce a 3D print on the 3D Systems Cubex printer. The first steps to getting your file prepped is to make sure that you have saved your model as an STL file. This is the only file format that the Cubex software can open. Here we have our file open in Rhino and have saved it in the STL format. Next, open the Cubex software. Once inside, click open and locate the STL file you are looking to print. Once open, you should see your model visualized on the build platform. If any corrections to scale need to be made, click on your object, adjust the percentage you would like to scale, and then click the scale button. Keep in mind that increasing the size of an object will alter material use and print time. Now that we have our object ready, go ahead and click the build button. From here you can set up specific parameters for this 3D print. First thing we can do is change the layer thickness option depending on the level of detail you want. Select your desired Z resolution with 0.1 being the highest and 0.5 being the lowest resolution. Next select a part density. Depending on the geometry of your object you might need to include a fill density to support the overall structure and give the print head a point to build off of. For this particular model, we do not require a fill, so I'll select hollow. Next select a raft material. If your model only touches the build surface in a few places, it could break loose during printing. A raft will print a bed of plastic to anchor the model more securely to the build platform. Since this model has a large flat surface, we will select none for the raft material. Next select support material. Supports are necessary for parts that exceed 45 degrees from vertical to prevent slumping and give the print head something to build on. We do not need to print supports for this object, so we choose none. Leave the support types as points. Next, click Build. The Cubex will begin to slice your model and give your material usage an estimated build time. While this is calculating, go ahead and record your build specifics X, Y, and Z dimensions layer thickness, density, whether or not you are using rafts and supports. Also note your mass in grams. This is the amount of material your print will consume as well as an estimated build time. Next click the save build file and save your printable file to a USB drive. This will need to remain in the 3D printer throughout the build process. Please ask the CXC office for a designated USB drive and if needed save a copy for yourself. We now have our build file ready to print. Click the close button to the left side of the screen and we can see the layers our model has been sliced into. The slider on the right side will show you each step the printer will take during the printer process. 3D print pricing will be 35 cents per gram with a minimum $5 charge for any print made. Now you are ready to print. Please have a CXC worker help you start the print. Insert the USB drive into the bottom left side of the 3D printer. Click print on the Cubex touchpad. Scroll left and right and select the file name you intend to print. The print head will begin to warm and the Cubex glue should be applied. Thank you for watching the College of Art and Design CXC 3D printing tutorial. For more advice, go to design.lsu.edu slash 3D. That's so awesome.